morning everyone welcome to vlogmas day five It's Sunday, December 4th, and it's 11.40 right now. I've been awake just editing to upload today's Vlogmas, but I also woke up very sick again. So I think I'm gonna take it easy today. I was contemplating not even vlogging, but I guess I'll just vlog like if I do something. I'm probably gonna watch church online, be gonna go pick up my prescription from Walgreens too. But yeah, not much is happening. I'm just doing my skincare right now and I just wanted to start the video and say hello. Came to Whole Foods for some lunch. These sodas are like my favorite thing. The orange one is my favorite because it reminds me of Fanta. back from Whole Foods. I picked up some lunch and a few other things for the week. Vegan yogurt for my berries. I got this Amy's black bean and veggie burrito. We found these buffalo cauliflower wings and they look pretty good. They were, they were in the frozen section and Whole Foods has like the best frozen section. So got some minestrone soup, some avocados. I made a plate for myself for lunch. And then I got two of these pre-made salad kits. I got the Avocado Ranch and Southwest. I love these. I just uploaded Vlogmas days three and four. It's currently four o'clock. I've been working all day to get that up and I still feel really unwell. Um, and it's really, really dark and gloomy outside. Let me see. Do you see how like dark and gray it is? So it's just been one of those Sundays where you just like stay inside all day. And I'm also doing some laundry. I'm washing my sheets and stuff. So I have some things going in the background. I just wanted to update you because I felt like I hadn't talked to you much today. I am going to take Lola to the park. I've been inside my apartment all day. So I'm gonna take Lola to the park for a little walk before it gets dark. That's pretty much it. We're gonna go on a little Sunday evening walk so she can get some energy out. I like to take her to the park on the weekends because I don't really get to during the week and I only get to walk around my building. So I think it's nice to take her on like a little outing. Made it to the park and it's like the worst weather ever. It's raining. I'm also like counting on these immunity shots to save my life at this point. Skincare, and since I haven't filmed a lot today, I thought I would show you my skincare routine because a few people have asked me for it. I'm gonna talk you through it and what I like to use. Before putting any type of product on my face, I will assess my skin and see kind of what it needs. And also if I want to put on any pimple patches, I do it now before I have any product on my face. And depending on the type of blemish, I'll choose a different type of patch. So I have these by Starface that I really like for like little pimples and then I have these by Hero and these are the micro point ones. These are a lot for bigger pimples but I just have little blemishes right now, thank god. So I'm gonna use the Starface one. And for during the day, I really like these by Hero as well. These are the invisible daytime ones. Love those because you really can't see them that much. And like if you're wearing makeup or even if you're just bare face, it's nice to still be treating the pimple even while it's daytime. So another type of spot treatment that I use, I have like seven different types because I have really problematic skin. So I have to be prepared. I use the different Adapalene gel. I love Adapalene. It works really well with my skin and it's also the retinoid that I use. I don't have anything 
right now that I want to put this on and I wore it all over my face last night So i'm not going to do any of that today. So next i'll go in with a toner I like to use this face reality calming facial toner. I got it from my esthetician and I just really like it I have really sensitive dry acne prone skin Sometimes I will also use this is clinical active serum. I like this because I can use it during the daytime under my sunscreen um, So if i'm breaking out really bad, sometimes i'll use this the next product I'm going to use is this hydrating b5 gel and this is by skin and this has hyaluronic acid So the trick with this is that if you're using a product with a lot of hyaluronic acid You want to apply moisturizer right after like kind of immediately because it likes to stick to the water and bring moisture forward and if you don't have moisturizer on your face or if you're not already like moisturized then it will just get water from your skin and basically make you more dehydrated i don't know if i explained that correctly but that's like the gist of it so when you're using hyaluronic acid you want to be like quick with applying moisturizer after but before my moisturizer i like to do this black snail restore serum snail mucin is like a holy grail for me this is by i unique it helps me so so much when i'm breaking out it reduces inflammation like crazy like no other product does for me and it also helps i feel like my scarring heal faster so since that's a hydrating serum i'll apply that right after the b5 gel and then this i got in my last vlog but it's the autocorrect eye cream by sunday riley this one's kind of pricey. I don't know that I'll be repurchasing it. I'm still testing it out. And then I will go in with this Skin Better Science Trio Rebalancing Moisturizer. Love this stuff. If you have dry skin, this is like such a lifesaver. My skin loves this. It just drinks it up completely. It's pretty thick, so if you have oily skin, you probably wouldn't like this. Um, but I have super dry skin so I can use it morning and night and then the last step which is very extra and not necessary is I will use this neck cream by revision skincare my mom gave me this and honestly you don't need it just like bring your moisturizer down your neck and your serums and it's basically gonna do the same thing i'm sure but if you want to be extra this is a neck cream that i really like oh if i'm feeling like i want to do some extra steps then i'll use my new face device or i'll use my gua sha but but today i'm not going to do that actually while we're here i'm doing gua sha and then of course the last step you don't want to forget lips so i always just put on a lip mask it for my skincare routine i hope you enjoyed that i'm gonna go eat some dinner now i'm eating that pre-made salad that i got from whole foods the avocado ranch one and then i also made some pizza rolls because life's about balance right i wasn't planning on vlogging anymore tonight but disaster update is that i just remembered literally lying here i was double checking my vlog and then i just remembered while watching the vlog of me doing homework that I haven't turned in my homework and I did not finish it. Shoot, my final is due tomorrow night. Oh, thank God. It's just been so weird like doing online classes that are asynchronous this semester that I just like forget that I'm in school. It's terrible. Okay, well, this is good news. I basically did most of it. I did like 90% of it. So I just need to finish a little bit. We're gonna do some late night homework. It's not even late. It's literally 9.30, but I'm just... guys happy monday i was not going to sim trade today i was gonna give myself the day off because obviously yesterday i was extremely sick or i felt extremely sick but i took my antibiotic and the steroid that they gave me and i actually feel so much better but i'm not gonna push it because the last time i woke up feeling so much better i think i pushed it too much and also probably like getting ready to travel and going to the airport and doing all that stuff didn't help but i ended up just getting sick again so i'm gonna take it so easy today but i can like sit here and like observe if i want to for a while and uh, and write on my to-do list and i think if we take it really slow today i'll be able to get a little bit of work done
probably saw me say I was in a trade and then I just like went over to my emails because there was just so many that kind of piled from me getting sick and then I just didn't check them over the weekend which I usually will and like reply like a day after or the same day that they send them and I just like fell behind so that was kind of stressful but I got it all done so now I can just focus on trading and I'll reply to like the less important emails later today <music> This is my favorite hairstyle. Oh, I look kind of like an egg on camera, but it's my favorite hairstyle for when I want to feel like clean and slicked back, but I don't want to wear my hair up. And then I'll just add like a little clip right there. So it becomes like this cute half up, half down. Oh wait, can't forget my gold earrings. You already know that I wear these every single day. Just adding an earring makes me feel so much more put together it's about doing the little things to make you feel good even though you're not doing a lot it just makes you feel better secured breakfast <sighs> hello everyone it is like 12 30 now and i just got back home i ate some lunch I made myself a little salad and avocado toast because that's all I have here. But I'm about to head out because I have to get some editing done and also I have to finish a final for one of my last two classes. I'm so excited because after this, I'm almost officially done with college. And also reply to some emails and get some videos set up for later in the month. So I don't wanna do that from here because I feel like I've been in my apartment all weekend because I've just been sick. So I'm gonna go get a tea and just kind of sit and get some work done. But I wanted to show you my outfit before I head out because I haven't been doing this recently. I've just been forgetting. It's nothing super extravagant. I'm wearing this little sweat set from Set Active. I got it from their Black Friday sale like two or three years ago. Um, and it's lasted me a really long time. It's like this charcoal gray color. I really like it. And then I just have all my little Birkenstock clogs and my little black a purse. Wait guys, before I go, I need to take my antibiotics, forgot her, and then also I have this ginger shot. At this point, how many immunity shots have you guys seen me take in the vlogs? I'm just, I'm so over this damn cold. I wish it would just leave me alone. I regret so badly not going to get that prescription the day that she prescribed it to me. Like why did I wait two days to do that? I think it's because I started feeling better because of the shot, but it was a placebo because I literally just got sick again. So. Learn from me, don't procrastinate your health. That was stupid of me. I love how they give a little teapot here. It's so cute, because I get to pour my own tea. by replying to you guys' comments because you're so sweet and I love talking to you but now I really need to do my final. I'm gonna head to the grocery store really quickly. 
on my way to pick up Lola from Rene's apartment. Also, we might decorate some of his apartment for Christmas. Also gonna pick up all the ingredients for dinner. Tonight, I'm gonna make some stuffed bell peppers. It's like these vegetarian stuffed bell peppers. Also, I've never tried wearing my AirPods into the grocery store, but I feel like this is gonna make it a way more enjoyable experience because I'm gonna play Christmas music on my phone or should I play something else? I don't know. I'm gonna play the new Drake in 21 album because that's gonna hype me up while I'm in there. putting dinner together and I wanted to show you what it is. I'm making that stuffed peppers recipe that I talked about earlier and this is the mixture that goes in the peppers. I just cut these in half, drizzled olive oil, salt and pepper on them and then roasted them in the oven at 400 for 10 minutes and now you just stuff it with this filling and it's black beans, corn, quinoa, jalapeno, coriander, cumin, salt, pepper. This recipe is really easy. It basically requires no cooking except for the quinoa, so that's why I like it. So I'm just gonna stuff the peppers and then you can drizzle cheese on top if you want to also. And I'll of course have the recipe linked down below. This is one of my favorite weekday dinners to make. Now you put them in the oven to broil for five minutes. And it's nice because the filling leaves enough for later, so I usually will make it for lunch the next day. I'm gonna use these eye patches from Patchology. I never know, does the skinny end go at the front or the fat end? Please, someone let me know what is the right way to wear eye patches. now and i just wanted to end the video off here and say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed vlogmas days five and six the days are flying by but i'm working really hard to get these videos up for you guys so i hope you're enjoying them make sure to like and subscribe there will be new videos every other day until christmas also follow me on instagram or tiktok to see some more of my content and i will talk to you guys tomorrow